Jack, where are we and what are we doing? We're in Newcastle Airport still. It is 10 past 5 in AM on New Year's Day. Happy New Year, everyone. And we're waiting for our flight to Amsterdam, and from there, it's just a tiny layover of about 6, 7 hours. And then we're going to Tokyo. And then if we can find our way out of the maze that is Tokyo's transport system, we'll be heading to our hotel, and from then, we will be attending Wrestle Kingdom 13. It's just going to be, ah, oh, it's proper good than that. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. So, it's not long until we get on the second leg. No, there's some really dramatic piano music going on. I don't know if people at home can hear it. I hope it's not copyrighted. But, yeah, no, I don't think it will be, it's fine. But it sort of like sets the tone, doesn't it? Yeah, I've just got my hearing back from the last flight and yeah. now and now it's just all gonna be ruined again. I like I fell asleep and I woke up as we landed, like the jutter of the landing woke me up. Mm. And obviously I hadn't been able to swallow to clear my ear. So my right ear is just like muffled. Um yeah, that's Hopefully it'll balance out and you'll yeah, be totally deaf. Totally deaf, yeah, it'll be right. So, we're going to talk about what we're most looking forward to in Japan. Sam. Yes, uh, sushi, big time. You're a big sushi fan. Yes, I enjoy sushi and sushi me very much. So I'm not a big fan of seafood, but apparently that doesn't mean it's not a mutually exclusive thing. No, no, like if you, if you avoid sashimi, which is like the raw fish aspect, you can enjoy sushi if you don't like that, but, you know. Excellent. You're going to eat some, it'll be fine. You'll enjoy it. I've got two things yeah. I can think of that I'm I'm interested to see what my out in Japan is like. Yes. Because that's going to be so. strange and probably that's one of mine. Yeah. And also, I'm looking forward to extending my reigns with the DDT Ironman Heavy Metalweight Championship. Of course. Yes, DDT are running a show in and around the time we're there, so let's hope we can get you on the car. Oh, uh, let's do a Bobby <laughs> Heenan and try and get in. <laughs> you can dress up as an old woman so they don't know yeah. it's you. <laughs> <laughs> Post of people outside the venue, like look out for this boy. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to the bit of culture shock. I'm not looking forward to that. I'm, scared. Scared. I'm quite excited to see what it's going to be like, but I'm completely out of my depth. Okay. Yeah. You're so a braver man than I. Yeah. I'm also um, looking forward to super potato. Once once we yeah. get through the airport and then the train, then I'll be I'll relax and, a bit. And we get to the YMCA. We're literally staying in a YMCA. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun to stay at the YMCA. It's an old YMCA, they've turned into a hotel apparently, but it's still got a massive YMCA logo on it. I googled to make sure that they provided towels because I couldn't fit a towel. They provide they provide towels. Yes. If they don't provide towels, we have such a bad <laughs> I'm pretty sure we can find towels. I'll be using these to just pause. <laughs> oh no. Uh, of course the wrestling. Like, Obviously. Of course. See if we can take in any other shows other than New Japan over there. That'd be cool. Um, just want to see what it's like. I've always wanted to go to Tokyo ever since I was a little kid, so like seeing all the lights in the city and everything. For your and your veiligheid, let your own eigendom not unbeheerd after. For security oh, no. reasons, keep a close watch on your personal belongings. Done. Right, okay. Cheers. Back yeah, to they're it. all here, so it's fine. <laughs> Mine are over there. We can see uh, them. Yes, we can. Clear line of sight. I'm really struggling though. Yeah, you've been awake for a long time. I managed to get two hours of sleep. You went out drinking last night. I didn't get really drunk. Jack texts me at about half one going, just going to give you an update. I'm not drunk. I'm doing fine. And I was. Why would a, <laughs> why would a sober person need to message somebody going, I'm not drunk, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. And then this morning, Emily just, it's a lie. <laughs> Did she? Yeah. Oh. I've been dobbed in by my own GF. Yes. Um, cool. Richard, what are you most looking forward to? Hold on, let me grab that. Let's 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 oh. turn the camera on, oh, Richie okay. too. Ooh. Probably to piggyback off your point, the food. Food. Because I'm the same as you. You know, seafood is not my strongest point. Mm. But you've got beef. You've got curry. Yeah. You've got ramen. You just think of me. Think about what makes me salivate personally. All that good stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh uh, yeah. I am quite looking forward to being culture shocked as well actually. Because it's scary but it's it's an interesting experience. Yeah? Yeah, it'll be once in a lifetime as well, because once you've experienced it once, you're gonna be prepared for it every time, but that first time, getting lost in it, it's gonna be interesting. You're better on camera than I was at the start. <laughs> that's really that's really embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can 
Konnichiwa, Sam. Konnichiwa, Jack. Look, we've made it. We're in Tokyo. We did not pronounce that correctly at all. But yeah, anyway. <laughs> it's been horribly insensitive immediately. No, we're here in Tokyo. It's been yeah. actually a pleasant last leg of the journey. It has actually. That train that. from the airport to here oh, was well, smooth. Basically, we got in after the, the longest flight in the world. Oh my God. Um, it was like, the thing is, it was the same length as when we flew to Dallas. Yes. But it felt like an eternity. I don't know what, why, but anyway, doesn't matter, we're here. We couldn't film in the airport or in the train station because it's attached to the airport. There were big signs everywhere. So you've seen some cheeky B-roll of the countryside going by, but now we're here. We're here and yeah. Yeah, we're going to have a walk. Oh. We're going to try and walk. Can to you our tell hotel. we're a bit knackered? <laughs> We're going to try and walk to our hotel. Apparently, according to Richard Tubman, it's about a 30, 40 minute walk away, so... And I think we're going to try and find our first vending machine as well. If you just pan around, it's not... It's an no, intimidating is... city. Like, look at the size of... Look at the scale. I know, I'm not used to... Like it's the one that I That's great. Um, oh. Anyway... Well, I guess we'll check back when we found something fun to do. I do you can't say wait to have a shower. That's, <laughs> what, <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. We'll check back with a shower vlog. <laughs> See you then. So, we've made it. We're very much, very much ready for bed. Yes, we got our hotel sorted. We managed to, we, we, we had to like turn up and then we couldn't check in for ages. So we had to go get food. Yeah. Um, very, very sleepy boys, really. Yeah. yeah. Big shout out everyone <laughs> at the restaurant slash bar. Yes. Where we had some lovely skewers of meat. Oh, it was great. No euphemism intended. Now, um, <laughs> we've got some plans for tomorrow. Um, basically, well, first of all, we're going to do some sort of pictures video for Wrestle Kingdom. Yeah, it um, makes sense since yeah. we're out here. Might do some serious ones. Might do some, some silly wacky ones. ones. Oh, wow. Gangrel going to run in. Yeah. Yeah. Papa Shanga. Um, yeah, so we should do that. We, we might, I guess, try and predict what's going to happen in terms of sw shocks or swerves or that sort of thing. But yeah. I don't really know. It's, it's quite hard to predict what's going to happen but that's yeah. part of that's part of the fun that's just part of the fun so yeah. we tripped over in the background there yeah. um cool, my what else have we got Line so up. uh there is a wrestle kingdom 13 shrine and we have to it, it's going to be on display before wrestle kingdom on the fourth but we have to go along to the tokyo dome where it's sort of semi set up and we have to make our wishes for the new year are they wrestling um, wishes or just general i think just general wishes but okay. I, we should probably make them wrestling themed is it the sort of but is it the sort of thing where if if you reveal your wish, then it will come true. Well, no, because because you, you have to write them down. That goes public. Oh. So you write them down on a on a little piece of wood, and it's it's yeah. like hung up publicly. Everybody can see it. Yeah. And I guess the fun is going on the day and trying to find yours. Okay. So because right. they're all going to be jumbled up and hung all over this shrine. This is going to be near the Tokyo Dome itself. Yes, pretty much at the Tokyo Dome. It's very exciting. Yeah. Um, also. Yeah. This the is big a news. Shocking one today while we were eating, which you may have seen on Twitter. Um, I jokingly tweeted saying it's a shame the time of wasn't there at the airport with a little cardboard sign with our names on it to welcome us but then he said sorry I wasn't there but I am inviting you guys to Bad Luck Farley's pre Wrestle Kingdom party I guess yes in Shibuya uh, details are online if you're in Tokyo and you want to go along to that um, and that is on the night before so that's tomorrow night yeah, as tomorrow at the time night, of recording so it's a busy day tomorrow we're also gonna try and just do some general vlog stuff as well there's a lot of like weird and wonderful things that we want to try while we're over here in Japan yeah, yeah, yeah. so we're gonna try and get as much of that recorded as and when it goes out it'll go out but that sort of stuff I'm it, just I'm just, just worried yeah. I'm just worried there's gonna be a trap a lot of people on Twitter are saying this is a trap they're gonna beat you up it's gonna walk in, there and run away there, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm not certain what's gonna really happen at the party yeah. hopefully it'll just be a lovely little night yeah hopefully Hopefully. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we can't be out too late because our last train back is at midnight. Yeah, we can't so, stay all night. And we've obviously got to do Wrestle Kingdom in the, in the not the morning. I'm, I'm on UK time still. Like we've got Wrestle Kingdom the next evening. Yeah. So and we're gonna have to do loads of stuff pre that. So yeah. Yeah. I'm hoping for some big names there, not necessarily just members of Bullet Club. Well, they said there'll be some surprises. Maybe a certain David Meltzer because oh, we know that he's yes. in Tokyo. Mr. Meltzer is in Tokyo. Yes. Yeah. So that'll be interesting. Yeah. Um, I, I'm just I'm just fascinated to see what happens. Yeah. And a bit scared a little oh, bit much scared so, yeah, yeah. Um, right I can't think of much more to report there is one more thing that we have to do Jack before we go to bed and never though. forget to know no no right. well that too but we'll do that at the end yeah but there's something that caught my eye in the hotel that I think sounded really cool and I really hope you don't have to have an ID to use it so well there's a clue there I suppose let's do a crazy star wipe yeah right so as promised we're on floor five of the hotel and i found something really interesting and that's that you can get booze out of vending machines <laughs> it's literally six pounds <laughs> you threw about seven percent on this for that all right boom kids can just buy
like this.